Even with used cars on the market, a brand new EV is still out of reach for most buyers. But in Tesla's Q22025 earnings call, one line revealed a deeper shift in strategy. We continue to make investments in various aspects of manufacturing. And that'll make the affordability dramatically greater. This points to more than just lower prices. It hints at a completely reimagined production plan. One designed to build cars faster, cheaper, and at far greater scale. At the center of it, all could be the long-rumored Tesla Model 2, a compact EV that may launch for under $9,000. And as Tesla said, this is by far the biggest game changer. Subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell so you never miss what's coming next. What's holding back EV affordability? Could it be that we're still building them the same way we built cars in the 1980s? For more than 100 years, car manufacturing has been rooted in a labor-intensive multi-step process. A traditional internal combustion engine vehicle contains over 30,000 individual components, each with its own supply chain, quality control standards, and installation protocols. Assembly lines at legacy car makers like General Motors or Volkswagen are filled with thousands of manual operations from welding steel frames to routing complex wiring harnesses. Both traditional AVs and EVs fragmented structure directly impacts cost as manufacturing alone accounts for 52 to 60 percent of the total vehicle cost. For electric vehicles, which add the complexity of battery pack assembly and thermal management systems, the cost challenge becomes even more severe. Battery cells themselves are not cheap. Even with advancements in lithium-ion technology, average pack costs in 2024 remain around $130 per kilowatt hour. For a compact EV with a 50 kWh battery, that translates to $6,500 just in battery cost before any margins, labor, or supporting electronics. This is why even the most affordable EVs on the market, such as the Chevrolet Bolt or Nissan Leaf, start above $25,000 and often climb higher with options. The problem with traditional car manufacturing is not just the cost of materials. It goes deeper into how vehicles are physically built. The dominant model, originally perfected by Henry Ford over a century ago, is based on sequential assembly. Every vehicle is constructed step by step with each part added in a specific order. Each stage depends heavily on human labor, precise alignment, and mechanical fasteners. This method has become increasingly inefficient in the age of electrification and global supply chains. These steps are not only numerous, but also tightly interdependent. A delay in one component, such as brake calipers or dashboard modules, can stall the entire production line. On average, assembling a car using traditional methods requires between 20 and 30 labor hours. This figure does not include the additional time or complexity involved in fabricating parts at external Tier 1 and Tier 2 suppliers or transporting them across multiple regions. All of this adds cost, time, and systemic fragility. Now picture the inside of a typical automotive plant built in the 1980s. Loud hydraulic presses shape steel panels. Overhead conveyors move partially assembled frames from station to station, and dozens of human workers manually tighten bolts using power tools. Despite significant advances in robotics and industrial automation, this outdated scene still resembles how many modern cars are assembled today. The process is complicated, slow, and vulnerable to errors. It's precisely this outdated system that Tesla is working to overhaul. Do you think it's time we stop building EVs like it's still the 1980s? Comment, yes, if car manufacturing needs a complete rethink. What makes Tesla's approach to the Model 2 different enough to achieve affordability? To build an electric vehicle that costs under $9,000, Tesla cannot simply reduce part costs or negotiate better supplier deals. The problem lies deeper within the very architecture of automotive manufacturing itself. In a traditional EV, more than 70% of the final cost is driven not by raw materials, but by the complexity of how the vehicle is assembled. This is where the Tesla Model 2 represents a radical break from convention. It does not merely optimize the existing system. It redefines the system entirely. At the heart of this shift is Tesla's decision to eliminate geometric complexity from the car's structure. 
Instead of constructing the underbody from over 100 individually stamped and welded parts, Tesla uses massive die casting machines to form entire sections in a single press. This is not just automation. It is a form of structural minimalism that removes dozens of opportunities for error, misalignment, or material waste. With fewer parts come fewer fasteners, less need for manual adjustment, and a dramatic improvement in crash safety due to more predictable load paths. This approach has been described by manufacturing analysts. However, redesigning the car's structure is only one part of the transformation. Tesla has also reimagined the way vehicles move through the factory itself. In most automotive plants, the assembly line follows a strict sequence. One broken robotic arm or delayed part can grind the entire chain to a halt. Tesla is replacing this sequential logic with a modular production flow. Each major section of the Model 2, such as the front chassis, structural battery, and rear drive unit, is assembled and tested independently in parallel. Once each module is ready, the final vehicle is essentially snapped together at a central unification station. This strategy does more than reduce assembly time. It mirrors the logic of distributed computing, where independent processors complete tasks simultaneously and feed into a shared output. In Tesla's case, this modularity allows for higher factory throughput and more consistent quality control, especially in regions with limited access to skilled labor. Internal estimates suggest that this model could reduce total vehicle assembly time by more than 30% while also enabling smaller and more flexible gigafactories closer to the end markets. The final pillar of this new production philosophy is the battery, not simply as an energy source, but as a core structural element of the vehicle. Tesla's aluminum-lithium hybrid battery introduces multiple breakthroughs at once. Chemically, the substitution of aluminum helps reduce dependence on scarce and volatile lithium markets while improving thermal stability. Structurally, the battery pack is no longer an isolated box suspended beneath the car. Instead, it becomes the floor itself, integrating directly with the front and rear castings. This removes the need for secondary supports, crash cradles, or complex enclosures, reducing the vehicle's total weight.